It's been a while since I've made an update on my laser. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what I've done here. Uh, that's helped it to improve and make it a little bit better. Uh, one thing you'll notice is I spun the was that the Y gantry around the other way. Makes it easier to reach the laser in order to uh, set the distance. Another thing I did was I went in here and I 3D printed a couple of feet for the front. This allows me to screw it into place. It keeps it from moving around on the top of my bench over here. I just put two on the front. I replaced the board and then I took a lot of time having it laser, lace, laser burn <laughs> a grid to make it easier to line up pieces uh, left, right, front to back. I've shown you all this before, but I added a, a thing on the back. And I just used one of those little key uh, returns and zip tied it to the wires. This holds at least these wires up out of the place, uh, up out of the way. The uh, The other wires for the two sides kind of slide along the rails. They tend to stay out of the way already. It's not too often that I burn something that's the entire size of the board. So it hasn't really been an issue for me. One last thing I had to do is I noticed that while it was burning, uh, when I first set it up, the laser would not trace uh, the same line when going all the way across the the top axis here in the X direction. What I discovered was that the cable uh, was, as it went back and forth, the belt was pulling on it and causing this entire top part up here to tilt back and forth just a little depending on which way it was going. So when it went to the left, it would tilt a little to the back and when it went to the right, it would tilt a little to the front. And this was causing the laser to be just a hair off going in each direction. It was really screwing up some of my prints. I tried using the eccentric screws on the bottom to tighten everything up but they would only tighten so far and I could not get them to tighten enough to really clamp all the wheels onto this extrusion here at the top. What I ended up doing was taking a drill with a drill bit and putting it, uh, removing the wheels from the top, putting a drill bit through it and elongating the holes up and down this way so that I could then squeeze the wheels a little bit tighter onto this gantry so that it couldn't rock. Me and my kids put in an herb garden this morning, so I'm just burning some little signs for some of the different herbs so we can stick them in there and have it. I created this with a laser burn it's not free, but it works really, really well. Uh, I think I'm doing a 0.2 millimeter step over on a 45 degree angle. Uh, five millimeters per second. And I think it's an 85% burn on cedar. I also added a Raspberry Pi back there. And I'm using CNC JS to control the controller, which I'm now running Gerbil. Uh, I think it's 1.1, the latest. That's been working really, really well for me. Allows me to use my laptop from over here to load up new code and push uh, through the CNC JS. Also in the event the battery on the laptop dies, the burn will complete. Those are all the, all, all the updates I've done at this point. Uh, the machine has been working really, really well for me. I've done quite a few uh, very long burns. I think the longest one I did was about six and a half hours uh, on a, an item that 
was almost the entire size of the board and had text across pretty much all of it. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Have a good day. Bye.